Ah. Hello, everybody. It's Mr. Karen, and welcome to End of the Abyss, episode 38. Today, we are talking about the probably the most controversial election in American history. The election of 2000. Stand by, stand by. Uh, CNN right now is moving our earlier declaration of Florida back to the too close to call column. Basically, uh, there have been three presidents, almost four. Nixon was going to be the fourth, but he resigned. He, he quit before. Um, but there were three presidents that have been impeached. No president has been kicked out of office. But impeached basically just gives, like, a medal to the president that says, I'm impeached. Not literally, but it, it's just like, hey, look, this guy's impeached. Cool. So, after the impeachment of Bill Clinton, uh, and he already served eight years, he couldn't run again. The Democratic Party elected Al Gore, Bill Clinton's vice president, as their nominee. And honestly, we'd be living in an entire different, entire different world if Al Gore won. But he wanted, he was heavy on climate change. The Republican Party nominated either governor or senator of Texas, George W. Bush, son of George H. W. Bush. This is that we call Florida in the Al Gore column. This is a state both campaigns desperately wanted to win. So, uh... Neither candidate had gotten enough electoral votes, it's a whole system, uh, to actually win the presidency. You need half, 270, and neither president had more. It all came down to one state, Florida. The Florida Secretary of State, a Republican who had also worked on Bush's campaign, insisted that this recount be completed by November 14th. And George Bush ended up winning the state of Florida. A narrow margin allowed Gore to demand a recount by hand in four crucial counties. This meant that they count the votes in all those counties all over again. No, Al Gore was not happy with the outcome and demanded a recount. And there was a margin of 900, 900 people more voted for Bush than uh, Al Gore. And that's what separated them. The election Bush and a small lead of about 900 popular votes out of 6 million ballots cast. So Al Gore demanded a recount and then they were 450 votes apart. He demanded another recount and the Supreme Court said no, hold up. Apparently in Florida, it was too close to call. At first, it appeared that Gore had won the state, which meant that he would have won the entire election. However, then some began calling the state for Bush, which meant that Bush would have won the election. And the Supreme Court voted. Obviously, there are five Republican Supreme Courts, four Democrat Supreme Courts. They're gonna go to Republican. And one Supreme Court vote separated Al Gore from Bush. And Al Gore actually won the popular vote, but lost the presidency. Who won? The next day, November 8th, the final votes were finally counted. Bush had a slight lead, but the lead was so small that Florida law required a mandatory recount. That was one of the most controversial elections in history.